stars are born in the dark, as they say, and it's no exception in the world of professional wrestling. Before Dr. Britt Baker DMD hit the bright lights of sold out arenas, she got her wrestling chops with the local independent cartel, where talent is tested and experimentation is expected. When you show up to our events, you really never know what you're gonna get. You may be leaving laughing, you may be leaving crying. Just totally off the wall. Most recently was a match between Matthew Justice and Big Time Bill Collier. Into the crowd, and they actually ended up up on the balcony. No pads, no, no mats. Matthew Justice was thrown 20 feet to the ground through a table. The IWC stands for International Wrestling Cartel. It was a name we came up with 20 years ago, and we're bringing you all of the future stars of pro wrestling. So the guys and girls that you see on TV now, they all get their start right here in IWC. So IWC is it's my home. It's where I had my first wrestling match uh, just about six years ago. And Dr. Baker DMD ain't the only AEW star to come out of the IWC. Introducing... <laughs> Wardlow was a ride along with a guy named Matt Justice, which means he, he kind of just showed up in the locker room looking for an opportunity. He wasn't being paid to be there. He was just the good looking, jacked up guy in the back. So I'm 26 years old. I was actually, I was in a cast. Um, I had injured my ankle training. Um, so I'm there, I show up on crutches and meet everybody in IWC and sat there, watched the show, fell in love with it. Through time, we started putting him on the events, and just the way he moved, just the way he worked the crowd, you knew that he had wrestling in his soul. IWC as a whole, I will always be super appreciative of when they would bring in, you know, a former legend or somebody that has a little bit of a name behind them. You know, they would always give me that opportunity to work with them, to, to try to get me to the next level, giving me the home and the platform to do what I love. Literally, I went from that first match to my second appearance, winning the Ric Flair Invitational Battle Royal. From there, winning the Heavyweight Championship. Just opportunity after opportunity after that. If you're looking to take it to the next level, you want to be on TV, you want to do this for a living, this is a great place to start with the connections we have and the incredible job that Chris and our trainers do. As the IWC develops their talent, they also invent ridiculous stunts and antics at their shows. For instance, the IWC Reloaded event. How did I know this was coming? Every champion at this IWC Reloaded event will defend their titles versus a person randomly selected by what we call the reset button. And it randomly landed on a T-Rex. I showed him how disrespectful that was to me and ended that really quick. <laughs> but yeah, it was a video that seems to be very popular. You really never know what's gonna happen there. We like to keep fans on their toes. We've had a, a lot of crazy things happen here over the years, and you get all that right here in Western Pennsylvania.